Are you looking to convert a van but worried about getting a flat battery? I'm going to tell you why British gas vans are superior and they've got a hidden secret. So if you spent all winter building your camper van out in the cold, you've done a really, really good job, you're proud, you go away for your first camping trip, you've got the whole setup, you've got lights, you've got a mini fridge, you might even have a fan in the back because you might get a bit sweaty in the back of it, and then your battery goes flat. It causes absolute hell, there's arguments all over the campsite, you can't get off the campsite, you're trying to start your van and it's absolutely going nowhere, it's like vroom, vroom, vroom. So what do you want to do? You have to run around the campsite with your jump leads and you have to ask someone, can you jump start my car please? And that's if you've got jump leads. Most people don't even have jump leads. So if you've got jump leads, go and ask someone. You have to find someone with jump leads and it can be an absolute nightmare. Worst case scenario, you have to ring out the breakdown service just for a flat battery. And we all know that's a little bit embarrassing. So British gas vans from factory are fitted with battery isolators. So what is a battery isolator? So a battery isolator is essentially a mechanical device which is fitted in your engine bay, which goes next to the battery and it's wired into the battery. The way it works is when your battery voltage gets low, the battery sensors detect that the voltage is getting low and they kick in and cut off the battery. So essentially it is like you have got a flat battery. You go and start the van, it won't work. But then you go to the battery isolator, reset the circuit, Start the engine, boom, 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 off you go, and away you drive. So this is your engine bay, and how do you know if you've got a battery isolator in your engine bay or not? So typically you have the engine here, that's a big, massive thing, it goes, vroom, makes loads of noise, and then you've got your battery here, so in here we've got RAC battery, and the battery isolator typically is kept on the right-hand side of the battery. So you can see here we've got a battery isolator, inside here we've got the fuses for the van, and on the front we've got the battery isolator. This little button here, so if you get any problems and you need to reset it, you press that red button and it'll reset the circuit. So the benefits of having a battery isolator that I've found is that obviously if you're working in the back of the van, you've got your lights, so even if it's a work van, you can go in and out of your van all day long and you're not going to get to the end of the day and your battery's going to be flat. You can have your lights running all the time, just like I've got here. Obviously, if you go away camping, you can have the lights on inside the van. You can run different elements off the battery. Obviously, it's not going to run forever because the battery will go flat. And if you just keep resetting it, I think eventually you will run it completely flat. It's just a safety measure to stop it. If you do need extra battery power, then obviously you can get a leisure battery fitted. But if you want to save some money and you want to have a portable battery, then you need to get a power station. So if your battery does go flat and you've reset the battery isolator, what typically will happen is your trip computer will reset so everything on your computer will reset, your clock will reset as well, and then typically you will get a few yellow lights on your dashboard, but in order to get rid of them, one way is you can just go off and drive, in about 20 minutes or half an hour, once the engine gets warmed up and you start driving, those lights will go off. Or the other option is you start the engine, make sure you're in neutral. If you just turn the wheel from full lock all the way to the left and full lock all the way to the right, then those lights will come off. Obviously, I don't have the lights on my dash at the moment because I haven't reset the battery isolator, but that was a quick way to get those lights to come off and it'll stop your dash beeping as well. Sometimes it'll beep at you. 